Shh, talk about, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm talking about AD. Let me have my moment. Let me give me just a second. Okay, okay. AD the bad, ain't it? LeBron too. Yeah, yeah. You like LeBron? You like Goat James? Yeah, if you like Goat James, of course you like Goat James. What about AD? AD I guy? Is AD I guy? Yo, yes, yes, yes. AD is our guy, and he went to work on him too. Run tail. What you want to do? You like AD? You like the Lakers? You like the Lakers? You like so basically, Yoke was coasting on defense. He could divert, uh, devote all a lot of his energy, not all of it, but a lot of his energy mm. to the offensive end. He won't have that luxury in this game. Mm. The Lakers will go back to their conventional lineup. They'll probably start uh, uh, JaVale in this situation. But the one thing that we have <laughs> that the Clippers did not have, we got that guy. Mm. We got that dude. We got the guy. Not the guy that sat next to the guy. Not the guy that all of a sudden tried to snatch. He, he, skipped, he snatched that rug out from under us. Mm. And I look at him. Now he want the rug. Now he talking about IQ. Mm. Lakers in six. Six? I, I thought you were going to make a case for Lakers in overtime in seven. Lakers in six. Six? So Denver is actually going to win two games? Denver's going to win two games. Really? Interesting. So my take on your take is that I think you were trying to hype up the Nuggets to justify the fact that you're saying LeBron's path to for a championship is very difficult down in the bubble. Every Now, before they went to the bubble, I heard all the coaches that were going down there and a lot of the other coaches, this is the most mentally toughest challenge that whomever win the title will ever have to face. Now, the Lakers... No, there are no Clippers. Oh, I bet it's a cakewalk. It's a cakewalk. No, no. If it's a cakewalk, why don't y'all eat cake? The Clippers don't like cake. <laughs> because all we cared about was beating you. We were built to beat you, and we would have beaten you, no, you if wouldn't. we had gotten to you. We would have beaten you if we had gotten to you. Simple as that. Period. End of story. We, we basically beat that team again and again and again because... We beat them up good in game. Do you remember game one? It was over in about 30 seconds. Yeah, we let y'all do that. Get y'all hopes up. Oh, really? Yeah. We who, you're the Nuggets? Nuggets. Okay. Oh, yoke. Yeah. It was a 23-point blowout, but it was over like that. Yes. And you could argue, got you right where you, we want you mm -hmm. because you, you really think you're just going to cakewalk through us, right? Except in the closeout games, four, uh, uh, five, six, and seven, it's... Clippers leading by 16, Clippers leading by 19, Clippers leading by 12. What, what does that tell you? What does it tell you? Here, here's a better number for you. What does this tell you? The odds makers had my Clippers favored over the Nuggets almost in every game. By uh, The first six games was eight and a half points. Yeah. The Only the final game, game seven, dropped to seven and a half points, mm -hmm. Okay. Would you believe that your team is only a seven-point favorite tonight? So the, the odds makers, Las Vegas is saying the, the Clippers are actually better than the Lakers because that they were he more heavily favored against the Nuggets. Well, I hope a lot of people bet, bet the Nuggets. Yeah. Because if they did, uh, uh, yeah. uh, Vegas is in a heap of trouble. But see, what they did well, what for is, you game one. What does that tell you, though? So they're saying you're not as strong as the Clippers were. No, no, no. Yes. What it tells me is that they're giving the Nuggets more credit. Mm -hmm. See, the Nuggets rope-a-dope, y'all. Uh -huh. They pulled out Ali in the rubble in the jungle. Mm -hmm. They laid on the rope, let y'all get out to that big old lead. Yep. They just rope a dope it on y'all. 23 point, and Skip Bayless came in, it's over. Mm -hmm. See, and they got you. And the next thing you know, oh, Jamal Murray, yo, whispered in Kawhi's ear. Yeah. That's all you got. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> that was all they had. <laughs> So let me remind everybody out there what a cakewalk this is going Don't to be. Don't do that. Because it was a cakewalk during the regular season. They played four times, these two teams did. Oh, my goodness. The Lakers did go three and one. Your man, Jokic, the Joker, was more of a joke against the Lakers. Don't do that. Skip. He averaged 16 points and six rebounds against your Lakers. Mm -hmm. You like that? I don't like that. Jamal Murray, he of the three. He can just shoot the, the lights out, shoot your eyes out, shoot your heart out in big playoff games. Against the Lakers in four games regular season this year, 
He went three of 19 from three. You like that? Will we go three of 19 is? Three of 19. He will be one for eight tonight in a blowout for the Lakers in game one. Let's look, shall we, at what Joker and Jamal Murray have been doing in their eight playoff wins. They've won eight playoff games. Would you believe that the Joker at seven feet made 53% of his threes in those eight wins? 53, he just stands out there. He shoots the highest arcing three I've ever (laughs) seen in all my years watching basketball. He He shoots it into the rafters. (laughs) It's like, it, it becomes a UFO up there. I, you don't even know where it is. Or I mean, he's already is. seven foot tall, and he's yeah. shooting it 20 feet yeah. up in the air. And sometimes I, I think he arcs it even higher just to toy with your 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 psyche, uh-huh. you know, like to, to show you. I think, I'll, I think I'll shoot this one so high, it'll make you even sicker when it swishes, right? <laughs> so he made 53% of his threes, but guess what? Jamal Murray in those eight playoff wins for the Nuggets so far, he made 54%. These are outrageous numbers yes. from the three-point line. Yes. They're hard to overcome. Yes. And obviously, they were shooting the lights out in the fourth quarters mm-hmm. of games five, six, and seven yes. against the Clippers. And remember, five and six, they made seven of nine threes in each of those fourth quarters. Right. Which you're going to lose. Mm-hmm. And does that have something to do with half-hearted defense by the Clippers? You better believe it does. They were not getting hands and faces. They can't move, Skip. Mm. They can't move. Arthritic knees. Skip, the thing was, we thought this notion, if you look at their best lineup, they go Lou Williams, they go Trez, they go Paul George, they go Kawhi, and maybe they go Pat Bell, but they go Mars. But Skip, really? I've been telling you, Kawhi is not that guy on defense anymore. He can't sit in that chair. I would agree. He focused all on offense because the offense was Kawhi Leonard. They flipped it. He wanted that. He often dribbled the ball up the floor, and he often took a pass on the wing, and and it was like the other four said, you do it. But but no, 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 but Skip, you love that about Kawhi, Mm. that he didn't want to play with LeBron. He wanted to beat LeBron. So the offense ran through him. They had, LeBron could have made it so easy for him. Uh, 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 AD could have made it so easy for him, but he didn't want that. He wanted, He chose Paul George. You would have a case if the Denver Nuggets had steamrolled the Clippers and just completely bamboozled and, and, and bum-rushed them right out of the playoffs where they just didn't have an Skip. answer and they kept losing by 15 or 20. That never happened. Skip. It took them coming back from 16 down, 19 Which down. Which is more impressive. Down. Well, it's more impressive, but it also tells you how strong the Clippers what, were. What, what were the the Clippers were in commanding position to end this in five games. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, the Clippers, if I'm not mistaken, was like minus 1,000, mm. minus 1,200. That's how overwhelming of a favorite they were. Yep. Okay. And they so, took them down. My question is, who is going to guard your man LeBron James? I guess Jeremy Grant, because he guarded Kawhi a lot. He did okay. He sort of fought with him, hung in there. He's, uh, what's his name? Harvey Grant's son. That's Harvey. That's Harvey's son. Not Horace. Horace is his uncle. Yeah. But but he knows how to, he's got legacy, you know, league legacy. So so he'll go out and compete. But Kawhi's about 6'7". He probably weighs about 20 pounds fewer than LeBron. Yeah. LeBron's the ultimate freight train. He should just be freight training. Don't right worry. No, 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 no. We, we, we don't want any of your basketball expertise. Yep. Tell us what we should do. I say LeBron goes tonight for 30, 12, and 13. That's All I know is LeBron 30, has been averaging 27, 10, and 9 in the mm. playoff. I got Shoot, 55%. Triple, double tonight. I got Lakers by 30 tonight. I got Lakers in five. Skip, I, I have enough respect that because the Nuggets did beat my team and, and just crushed their souls, I, I will give them one game. One game. Skip, you know nobody believes you. Mm. Nobody Everybody believes you. Everybody believes No, they don't. Because they, yeah. they, they already know what you're hoping deep down inside. Mm. Mm. I don't know. The Heat might be another story, but not the Nuggets. No, no. No. Yep. The, nugget, the Nuggets are. 